So now that you are done with modeling your car in Inventor, it is time for us to create the PDF that you will turn in. Remember, the PDF is one entire assignment, and I am going to be looking that several aspects of your car are, in fact, in spec. Now, before we go to our PDF, remember you should have your completed IPT, and I found that it's helpful to open that and save it, just so that way it's most recent in your computer's memory. From there, we're gonna go ahead to file and create a new drawing. You can even use a template, but we're gonna make that new DWG file. The first thing we do when we'll get into our drawing is going to be to adjust our sheet size. So over here on our model browser, we're gonna right click where it says sheet one and then come down to edit sheet. From there, we are using legal size paper, which is about 12 by 14 inches, and you'll see, or sorry, eight and a half by 14 inches, and you'll see that that is not anywhere here in our uh, presets. So we're gonna be using a custom size. Our height is going to be eight and a half, so 8.5, and our width is going to be 14. We're going to go ahead and click OK, and that is going to create this layout. Now, we do not need the ANSI border, so we can click on that and delete it, and also the default border, get rid of that. Once you've got that blank sheet of 8.5 by 14 inch paper, you can go ahead and bring in your base. Now, since we just had our PDF open, uh, sorry, our IPT open, that helps in making our PDF. When you do this, I do want you to make sure that the size is one to one. And I would love for you to show me hidden lines. So here under style, you should have this first option selected uh, so that I do see hidden lines. You might not see them yet, but once you click OK, you should. Now, before you click OK, remember that I do wanna see both your front view, so this view right here, and also your top view. You could do the bottom view if you'd rather, especially if you are doing a shell car, uh, but one way or another, top and front. We then go ahead, click OK, and it's gonna look kind of crazy. I know that for sure. But again, because you showed me hidden lines, I get to see our cartridge hole. Now, because I want some of our specifications in here, we're going to go over to the annotate tab. That way we can use our dimension tool to get a couple of measurements. Using that dimension tool, you can click on the endpoints. So from the very back end of your car to the very front end of your car so that I can get the length of your car. When you do this, if it defaults to inches, that is fine. You do not need to change anything here under your precisions and tolerances. You can just say, okay. If it does default to inches, what you're gonna go ahead and do is just come on over, come on over to our tools tab up top and under document settings, we are gonna change the annotations. So it is that first tab where it says default standard. We're just gonna collect click on the default standard ANSI millimeter and apply. Now it won't change any dimensions you've already put in there, but if you remake those dimensions, it should now be in millimeters. End to end, look at that. So I definitely want the full length of your car so I know that that is in spec. I'm also gonna want the width of your car body. And I want you to try and get as close to where the axles are as possible. If you do have a rail car, I want you to take the width at the widest point. I would also like for you to tell me from the bottom of your axle hole to the bottom of your car about that distance. You may need to zoom in in order to get that, but you'll notice when I clicked on that, it should give you a dot. If you need to do that dot from the center of your axle hole, that is fine as well. And then I want you to go and take a look at your cartridge hole. This one, I will be looking to see, hey, where does it get kind of close? So if you are cutting close either from the top view, which this one kind of is from this line to here, or from the front view from here to here, I just want you to go ahead and include the measurement between the two. So from the edge of your car to the edge of that cartridge hole, I want you to give me that measurement so that I can see for a fact that yes, you have at least that three millimeter safety zone. If it gets close in a couple of places, you can give me that measurement in a couple of places, but I want to see it in at least one that you for sure at a snug spot have a three millimeter safety zone around your cartridge hole. If there are other dimensions you would like to give me or that you would like to check for yourself to prove that you are in spec, go for it. But I do, at the very least, need your total length of your car 
the width of your car, that cartridge hole, and then also from the bottom of an axle hole or center of an axle hole to the bottom of your car. Once you have gotten all of that information, you can go ahead and actually add some text to this. I'm gonna have you add your name. Now you're saying, Miss Marshall, we have the title block, why did we get rid of it? It just had your ID number, not your name. So I'm gonna have you add that text, say your name and your class period so that when I print this off for you, I already have your name on here and it's easy for me to get it to you. You'll then go ahead and do file export PDF. Name it again, I would recommend your name plus the word car and make sure that you save it to your OneDrive or your H drive. After you save that, you can go ahead and turn it in on Schoology. Like I said, that is its own assignment. It is a smaller assignment, but a way for me to, again, continue to check that you are in spec. And it is due on April 20, sorry, April 19th, if you are an odd day, April 20th for even day.